Namaste. And welcome to another edition of Wakey Bakey with Reiki. And as usual, it's an, another wonderful, amazing morning. <laughs> I'm just not just saying that. I'm conscious each time I say that in the mornings now. Because now I'm being conscious about my mornings and they are turning out wonderful. Say good morning to Yoji. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yesterday was a video for, because it was day 203 of this adventure, and yesterday was a video of, oh, where am I? What am I doing? And it was kind of a, uh oh, I'm slipping yet catching myself. So, what has happened since then? Uh, wow. <coughs> One, I've stumbled upon this course. Um, and I thought it was just going to be, I mentioned in the last video, I thought it was going to be just some, another healing modality. And it's turned into this 15-hour course going over Qigong, Reiki, um, Thea healing, um, DNA healing, breathing, um, astral projections, astral body, just everything. And I thought I was, when I first looked at it, I went, ooh, a bunch of gobbledygook. And... Now that I get into it, it, it's making so much sense. It's talking exactly to me. It's talking to me at this very moment. Just in the last few days when I brought in the breathing practices that's being presented in this, it's totally, it, yeah, it's transforming my body. My flexibility has increased 30% in my back um, since doing this. It's just amazing. So there's that. It's just giving me a whole new view of Reiki and what I'm doing. The other thing that happened is yesterday. And I decided I'm going to come out of the closet <laughs> with this one. Yesterday's Course in Miracles lesson. Not Course in Miracles, but... Um, and I guess... Before I came out here, I was ready to talk about the A Course of Miracle lesson, which is, you know, I'm the light of the world and God shines through me. And, you know, basically, you want to see God? i got to show you what God is. Um, because God's in me. Namaste. You know, and when I got that, it's like, okay, I get it. i got to get this message out of why I'm waking up so happy in the morning. I want to share this. And I just slipped a track there where I was going with my course and everything is going and so this morning i really you know with the course in miracles is like i got to get my message out you know so yes um yumi keto i got to get yumi keto out um because i totally believe it and my mind you know started bringing up stuff like that and then all of a sudden i realized that i started something doing something yesterday from my Think and Grow Rich lesson, which I listened to after this. And it was called On This Mystery of Sexual Transmutation. And I've read this chapter in Think and Grow Rich many times. And I believed I knew it. Yet I never really put it into play. And one of the main reasons I never put it into play is if you go out and search for courses on this or any other even in Think of Grow Rich or Bob Proctor, if you, they don't go deep into the sexual transmutation. What is it? They just skim it about sex is the highest emotion. If we tap into our sexuality, uh, you know, then put it over into what we want, that's where the power comes. And I understand it. Yet, there's no one that really goes in talking about it. Because when I go out there looking for it, and even someone that I worked with in the past, and I have you know quite a crossing of paths with this person, and this person even came up in this material I was reading, um, they, they link the sexual transmutation, most of them, especially men, with multiple orgasms. And while, yes, yeah, sex is wonderful, sex is amazing, we should fully embrace our sexual selves, and it's something I'm going to be talking about and exploring more deeply. Going into the sex part of sexual transmutation, I haven't found anything on this. Nobody's talking openly. So yesterday I start, I, I listened to the lesson and I says, okay, I'm going to do this. And I even shot a video about it. 
So I went through yesterday staying focused on this, the, the idea of what I think I should be doing. And I followed it through till I went to bed. And if you want to find out about that, I'm actually making a series of these videos that are not on YouTube yet, but I'm going to be putting them up. I'll put out there when this is going to be, because I'm going to be talking very frank about this. Because this morning I woke up and again in a good mood, but it was totally, a, I mean, when I put my legs off the side of the bed, it was a different feeling. It was just a different energy because I went to sleep. I did things differently. And so I woke up and then I came in and just my whole mindset is different this morning. Down to I'm focusing on, you know, during meditation and something kept popping up that's irritating me. And that's not a meditation thing. That's my own thoughts coming up. And so what you do in meditation is like, okay, let's just push it away, you know, whatever. I, and then I just open up. What do I do to heal that? And boom, thought came in of how to fix it. And I went, okay, put it away. And it was fine. And then all of a sudden I went, but that's what you have to do with that. And it wasn't a nagging, it was a universe. And so I just, I had these whiteboards on my walls and I just turned around and I started scribbling down what needs to be done for this thing that needs to be irritating. Or that's irritating me because this is something I want to create, bring into the world. I believe it's going to do a lot of good. It's a physical product and I'm going to make money off of it. It's going to get me out of here. It's going to help other people, my partners too. And so, okay, they said do this, even though I see, you know, there's the irritation. And so I just turned around and I started scribbling all of this stuff about what I needed, what I wanted, it's extra parts, extra things. And then I went back and I relaxed and I went, okay, back into the meditation. And I went right into the meditation. No problem, no nothing, everything was done, the irritation was gone. Because I put it on the board. And I just, and I, in the meditation, I went, what's going on here? And I realized sexual transmutation is happening. I am becoming energized. My sex drive, which is being pushed over into what I want to create, Yuma Key, and creating a sex life with the proper woman, yet I have to create an environment that's going to be conducive to that, even if it's just getting it going. And so I'm doing that stuff to make that happen. And it's like, wow, this stuff's working. Or is it? Well, I, I, and this is what I say. And I go, I want to see if this keeps working. Let's make videos. What if, and then I went, what if I made a course on sexual transmutation that's very open about sexuality? Yet, yes, it'll help you if you do these exercises that I am doing. Um, one, it's going to help you when you become an older man to help keep your sex drive high, to help keep everything working properly. Um, two, it's going to help you in your life, to drive your life. Three, it's going to help you as you become older to almost stop time, not stop time, but to slow time down and to revitalize us, to re-get us energized into life. Because that's what sex is. I remember when I was young, I was a bad, crazy, sex-driven young man. And yes, I was driven to do stuff. That's why I was insane in backpacking and skateboarding and Mr. Bear and everything. It's because of that high sex drive. And so now, here I am. I'm going, to recre I'm going to create a course on this. And so I'm going to be journaling in my journey, and I'm going to be very, very open about everything because I've realized that being open is part of my healing. That's what this is all about. And if I'm opening up and healing, it must mean the world needs to open up and heal. I'm a safe heart. So that's it. Um, yeah, things are going. And right after this, i got to shoot two more videos because I want to get... I haven't opened up a Reiki Dojo. I've been letting my perfection come in there. Plus, I was thinking about the videos, especially the welcome, and I babbled on too much like I usually do. Uh, so i got to get that video done, and I'm going to get the um, part two of my sexual... day two of my sexual transmutation uh, videos created. So um, that's it for now. I'm on fire. Um, I know it's warming up here. Days are supposed to be way over 100, but I'm just heating up. My energy re level is raising. I'm raising my power. Um, within Reiki, I discovered something really amazing about the power symbol um, that I didn't understand. I thought it was something else, and now I see it. It's like, wow! That's it for now. Um, yeah, I'll we'll see you tomorrow. Got a couple more videos to make. Namaste.